a lot of Amazon sellers, I would argue the majority of Amazon sellers, are under the impression that just by listing on Amazon.com, sales flow like they expected from the very beginning, thousands of dollars without the need to advertise. They're also under the impression that when they manage their account, maybe for one month, if the results aren't as they expected, they should quit after just one month of management, or they hire somebody, they opt in for an Amazon management service, they don't get the results that they were expecting within one month, and they say, no, this is not working for me. This video is all about demonstrating that persistency and patience are key factors in running your Amazon business. And I would strongly suggest that you factor that into your ROI when you're thinking about investing in Amazon. You need to factor in that you need to be persistent and you need to have patience. This isn't something that's going to happen overnight. Now, what I'm showing you here is just three reports. There's many reports that are sent. This is one of my clients that's been with me for two years for, for a while now. And I wanted to show you at least three of these reports so you can see that persistency is all about modifying the Amazon account according to what information you get. So these are just three reports, but the, the, the average CPC is important. Now, this average CPC is for the last 30 days, which it tells me, well, is there a problem with the actual quality of keywords that we're getting? Is it going down? Is it going up? Should that be modified? It's almost like alerting me if something should happen or, or something needs to be modified. And then there's the refund cost and the refund cost is when you get a refund from one of your Amazon customers, but they damaged it and Amazon won't reimburse you for it. So it comes out of your pocket and you do have a refund cost every single month. This is more of a warning type of um, report. So if the refund cost is too high for a certain month, something needs to be done on the brand level to avoid too many refunds. Now, obviously nothing has happened and nothing has happened since two years ago, but the, the maximum amount of time before today is only one year. So this, this, this client has been with this service for two years. So I'm showing you here the last 12 months of sales or, or profit and loss PL reports, right? And at the bottom, you can see gross profit. Now, a year ago, you can see that the profit would would cycle through you know five thousand dollars sometimes sometimes it was five thousand dollars and this client made it clear that a good month and what we should be doing as much as possible is ten thousand dollars per month so that was a clear expectation set by the client and uh, the year before this which obviously it was two years ago uh, the profit would fluctuate between five thousand eight thousand ten thousand and then after using all these reports, all this information, and having a dedicated person, which in this case is myself, because they're a client of the service, just modifying, 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 I was able to find out in November that there's a very specific way to issue out impressions where they're really effective and not that expensive. And that's the point of the CPCs, of the CPC report. And on November, we finished at 11,000 uh, profit or close to 12,000. And I was extremely confident in November that we would never fall under 10,000 ever again, which is, that's what happened. 10,000, 14,000, 12,000, 10,000, 15,000, 17,000, 10,000, and even 21,000. They doubled the good amount of profit because persistency and this can mean anything. This can mean having an employee. This could be you just figuring things out. And patience, and you, you, you should have patience by intelligently modifying your Amazon account according to what's going on. Because remember, an Amazon account is a business, not a process. It's not a checklist of things. It's a business. A business, anything can happen. So you should pivot, modify according to what your business tells you you should do. And even with months that they finish at eighty thousand dollars, look at look at over here, June finished at seventy nine thousand dollars, got ten thousand dollars in profit. Why? Because I was able to discover in November because I spent all day doing this. I was able to discover with this certain clientele that there's a or this client that there's a certain customer that they have because of their niche. They're in groceries. They they the the impressions that go out in a certain way 
are, are just more effective. It's it's hard for me to explain, but long story short, I was very persistent in reaching the goal of the client, which I considered attainable. And now that uh, I reached that goal in November, I know the formula, and that is the point of this video. I want to encourage you to stay persistent, stay patient, but be intelligent about it. If you're selling something and you're just getting zero profit for three months, then, then you should probably stop doing this. Uh, but if you see signs of life, I do suggest that you stay patient and you stay persistent. Uh, because I myself, I still find it uh, odd. I find it uh, uh, strange that one Amazon seller with one Amazon account would actually figure everything out. I have, I have the good fortune of looking at many Amazon accounts and I'm able to see exactly what's working with some, what's not working with others, apply what is working with everybody. And eventually I get so much experience that I know exactly what to do. That's why I have to strongly recommend be persistent, be persistent, keep on changing things. Amazon ads is a whole nother monster that you can really be artistic with it and modify accordingly, but it doesn't end with Amazon ads. Here in July, for example, we did, we got a record profit month. Here in July, this client suffered three detail page suspensions. Why? Because of packaging, even though they said it was expired. I, I had to call account health and I realized it was actually packaging and therefore there was no hope for the listing. So they're three ASINs down with their catalog, but even being three ASINs down with their catalog, this client was able to manage $21,000 in profit. And that's the idea. So remember, if you're going to go through this endeavor, because anybody, you know, there's so many choices for investing, there's stocks, there's real estate, uh, and there's also Amazon. If you decide to go the Amazon route, make sure you plan in your investment for a period of patience, give yourself three months of investments, and make sure you, if it's you, if it's someone else, you have someone managing your account who is persistent.